Um, this car is the coolest car. I've got to tell you about my car. This is a Tesla. A Tesla is an electric, an all-electric car. This car, I'm not kidding you, it stands about this tall. When you get in it, you drop into this hole. It is, um, and I don't know if you know about electric cars, they are so stinking fast. Vento Lagoon have been on that thing that shoots you up in the air. That's an electric motor that does that. That's how this car kicks off. It just goes zing. It's so fast. It's got to the man in the group, mm -hmm. the man in the group. It's got all the torque immediately. You don't have to gear through anything. It's torqued to the, and I have people try to race me in. I'll race them. <laughs> <laughs> I was at this light this one time, I was just on State Street, and I don't know if it was a Camaro or what. And I didn't even notice him, and all of a sudden the light changed, and he's rum, taking off, and I go, are you kidding me? Bing! I went right past him. And he pulled in behind a truck, and he went come up to the front of the line. Oh, this light, it was so fun. But I had this up on my vision board to get this Tesla. So we went to California last year, and I was going to put money down on this, and they don't make them anymore. They only made them for four years, I think. And now they're making the sedan. And they're, they're done making that particular model. And I was devastated. I'm going, it's on my board. I've got to get my car. And so I started looking on the internet. Kaysville. Someone was selling one in Kaysville. There are only two in Utah. And the one in Kaysville was for sale. And I got it because he was getting the next version, the sedan. Well, tell and so, how many there are in the world. There's 2,200 in all, out of all of the world. So there's many states that don't even have one. It is just, oh my goodness, it's just a race car. It's just so fun. So that was my Tesla that I got, and it was on my vision board. I'm not kidding you, I got it because it was here. If it had not been here, I don't think I would have gotten it. Um, this one is from Couch to 5K. They say to do it in eight weeks. I gave myself nine weeks to do it. Um, I haven't quite started yet because it's been too cold and it keeps couch snowing on us. It's couch. From couch. From couch, couch to... Um, to run a 5K, not yeah. 5K. Yeah, to run a 5K. And it's really cute little program you can get on your phone and it says, okay, run. Okay, walk. Okay, run. Okay. <laughs> the runs get longer and the walks get shorter until you're running the whole time. Um, my solar power home... Uh, this one, what is this? Oh, I need a marketer. Anyone need have someone who does marketing? I need a marketer. That's been on there for a number of months. I've had a couple close ones. I need someone to help me market this company, and I haven't found that person yet. Um, I'm going to give you one more slice that I was going to do. I'll, I'll give this, just take a minute and give, tell you about this particular one. This got 40, 42 things on it. One of the things that my mentor told me is that you have to put yourself in order. Order is so important. In the scriptures, start noticing how often you see the word order. Order is everywhere. We have to be in order. This works because of order. You're ordering your brain, you're ordering your thinking, you're ordering what you need, what you want. Order. Start by putting your silverware drawer in order. <laughs> putting all your knives facing the same direction. Then maybe add your sock drawer. Start putting all your socks together. Folding your underwear. And make it so that those things stay in order. And every time, just add another layer of or order. Uh, when I was told this, this happened to me about four months ago. I've been doing things in order and really changing that part of my life. And I thought, I'm doing pretty good. I don't need to put anything else in order. And oh my goodness, then the download came. And I just started thinking of all the things that just nig up, niggle at you. You didn't do that. Don't forget that. Oh, you haven't done this yet. You've got to do that. Oh, you didn't do that. You've got to take care of that. You keep promise, promising yourself you'll do this, and you didn't. All those things take up your brain. It's like, it's like being on a video game all the time. You can't think about anything else because you're just constantly being hit with this. You've got to clean out your brain to make it so that this works better. And so I started writing down all of the out-of-order things that I had. And I got to 42. Some of them took me a few minutes to do. Like, for instance, one of them, <coughs> my brother's in a care center, and he was on Medicare, Medicaid, and you just switch him over to Medicare. No, I don't want to do that paperwork. Ah, who ever wants to do paperwork for the feds? I don't want to do it. But I put it on my thing, and I'm going to get it done. 
Uh, one of them, I'm embarrassed to tell you, <laughs> I had gift cards for weddings that were two years old. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm so embarrassed. And I think, I'll see the parents at church and I'll give it to them. The people had gone on missions. It was not going to happen. And so one day I sat there, found all the kids' addresses, wrote them cards. I know that they were thrilled to get a wedding gift two years later. <laughs> you know, it's something. And so I have been able to get so many of these things off. And the cool thing is, once I got 42, I haven't added any more. My life is getting in order. I'm, I think that this is something that's going to take care of a big bunch of stuff that I'm not going to have to, um, to face again. Okay, so let's go over some of the basics. How many things are on your vision board? Nine. Nine. Where is it at? In your bedroom. bedroom. Where you can see Morning it. Morning and by night. Your, by your bed. Where Three you minutes. can see it. Mm -hmm. Morning and night, how long? Three minutes. Three minutes. How are you looking at it when you do it? It's like with energy. Emotion. Energy. Energy. Emotion. You're telling you, what are you teaching? You guys have been through it. You're teaching your brain how to do things, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You are teaching it how to create. You are creators. Think about that. You are creators. Does that sound familiar? You are learning how to create. Um, once it's on the board, don't take it off. Don't take it off until done. you're done. So careful what you put on your board. <laughs> do you only put hard things? No. Put some easy things. You want to teach yourself that this happens. You are retraining your brain. You're, you're giving it pictures and words, and you're training it that it can have these things happen. Don't you have a book with all the Yes, that was on? the next thing. Very good. Okay, <laughs> one of the things you do is when you get them off, please have a vision board book. This is your proof. This is your proof to your brain that you can do things. And when you have a bad day, you go, but look, I did this. The very first thing I did, I did this before I had a vision board. But I put it in here because it was so powerful. I was moving to a new home. We had, and my company was taking off, and I had enough money to buy a new home. And I wanted a home that was a certain size, a certain amount of money. And the weirdest thing is, I said it has to be small from the front, big from the back. I mean, is that the weirdest thing you've ever heard? Small from the front, big from the back. Well, if you, and what else did I, I wanted a view, it had to have a view, five bedrooms, four baths. So I put it out there, and we were looking at these <coughs> houses, and I had seen this house. I had seen it from the back. It was one of my kid's friend's house. Didn't know these people. And I remember just driving by the house going, wow, my head, that is the neatest house. From the front, it looks like the littlest house, but it's kind of burned up into, uh, it, there's the circle up here, and you see the top floor, but the rest of it's in the side of the hill. And from the back, it looks like a hotel. From the front, it looks like this little this little house. And I loved that. And it was too funny that the house that I'd seen ended up being, and the one that I'd been just, you know, salivating over, turned out to be the house that we got. Just everything that I put on my list to get. So that was one of my big ones. Um, put in your pitch. See, I've got, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, oh, yeah. That isn't my office, but it could have been. My office was so bad, you could not, oh my goodness, it was just attracted every nasty piece of paper in the world. Oh, you could not go in it. It was just, I mean, it would just press on me, and I finally got it totally organized, and it stays organized now. There's my camera that I got. Um, find a better program for my company. I looked and looked, and that one just kind of dropped into my lap. That was so wonderful to get that. Um, oh, this is the staff, the staff that was stealing everything. I inherited the entire staff when I got this company. This person found another good employment or her job has changed. Yeah, that happened. She changed her attitude or moved on. They all moved on. It was fabulous. This person, this person who was really kind of a dangerous person in this company, he safely is out of the company. And he did. That's what I wrote on my thing is that he safely left the company and didn't bother us or hurt us, he did. Um, so when we, you write them down, you write them as if they already happened? Mm -hmm. Yes. Write them as if they, thank you, that's very good. A positive, a positive thing. Um, oh, this one, shave $1,000 per month off of my business expenses. I had just $1,000 a month just going out that was just useless, stupid stuff. And I got that. 
Uh, we went on a trip to the Netherlands. There's the other half of my car, the three-fourths of my car right there. Um, there's just, a, I have no more soda. That's a big one. Yes. We, we have our, our moments of soda. So I have actually happen to have four of these books. I just happen to have some binders that were used for the things I don't need. They're on the counters, and there are some of these um, pages. Anyone is welcome to take those. I don't want them back. I don't want to take them. They might just need go. a bigger binder. Maybe they need one of those four-inch binders. That's right, a four-inch. <laughs> I can't wait like, to start a four-inch. just get one in. <laughs> but you know what? Most people don't do this. Please, this is your proof. You want this, and you'll forget what you've done. I'm going to send a show for that. Make now. sure you keep your book. This is the funnest part. I know. My mentor the other day said that because I keep my book like this, that he he says, you're really pressing me to do more in my book. And I go, yeah, we, we're doing it. We're, there, by the way, are my things in order. Uh, I got ten of them done in one month, and I got seven of them done over here. What was it in that one? That's my closet. Oh, my my closet in my bedroom is so beautiful. This is the closet in my office. It was, I couldn't find a thing. And I just pulled it all out, got it all on the floor, got rid of two thirds of it, straightened it out. That was wonderful. Um, one of them, this was too weird. Um, I went, I ordered, I do genealogy and I'd ordered something online. I didn't know I ordered it. It was some certificate and it came in the mail. I'm going, I didn't even know I ordered it. Then they billed me and they don't take credit cards. They're over there. I'm over here. What? Oh, God. this went on for about five months. How do I pay you? You go to the bank. You do this. You do that. And it was way too hard. And I finally said, listen, I have 20 euros for my trip. I'm sending them to you. Please be honest. Pay my bill. I'm done. And so I, I took care of that. It was laboring on my head that I had this bill in the Netherlands, and I was the ugly American. So I got it <laughs> taken care of. So please have your book. This is the fun part. Do you have any questions? How long um, have you been doing it? Uh, two years. I've been doing it two years. And it is really starting to flow. Really, really. Things are starting to come off it so much faster. Relationships. I've done a lot to clean up my relationships. Things are starting to happen lots faster now. Okay, so on that relationship, if you have living people, uh -huh. you don't get them in your car and scream at them. No. Do you know what? You can't. I wouldn't get him in your car and scream. Um, my my son-in-law went to his parents and said, "I'm angry about this and this and this and this, and it really helped. It really cleared me out." Eric, you're going to get people who will not forgive you, or they will. Um, you decide. You I decide. talked. To, can I say something about Please. that? I have my mom. Well, I shouldn't say. My mom. Said it. <laughs> and I was talking to a lady about the kind of something similar to this, and she said, "Just write a letter and just write that all out." She's like, "You don't have to send it, and just get it out on paper." And then, I mean, you've heard it before. It really mm -hmm. helped. It really, 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 really helped. And burn it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, where I worked at the White House Produce Store, there was this letter we saw in the bulletin board in the back office, and it said, "To the owners of the White House, will you please forgive me for?" She stole something when she was in her teens, and she's now in her 40s, and I cannot move on until I clear that. <laughs> Inside it. Fabulous. I was so impressed. Yes. Wow. <laughs> uh, I've also read this a lot, that the words forgive me have to pass through your lips. You can't say I'm sorry. Use the words please forgive me. And then be sure to ask you. Stand your, one of the things I've been taught is stand you right in front of yourself and talk to yourself and say, I'm sorry I say these bad things about you. I'm sorry I don't love you enough. And, and apologize to yourself and, and ask forgiveness of yourself. This is a very spiritual journey. This can be very, very spiritual if you want it to be. Anything else? Any questions? <gasps> She's an expert, you guys. You should pick her brain. I mean, really, <laughs> you should. This girl has it happening because I know people who have vision boards and they have cobwebs hanging off of them. You know, mm -hmm. hers is like, pew! Thank you. Smoking. You, thank I, you. I have to... Uh